I'm going to give a short example of on how to use Trackstar. First thing you need to do is get registered with Trackstar before you can create your very own first track. This is a simple process that usually only takes a couple minutes. You need to enter your name, email, zip code, and choose a password. I'm going to try to use something that's very common that I use within my school district and a password that's at least six characters or numbers long. Once you've registered, go ahead and log into the system, and then you'll be able to create your very own tracks. To create a track, click the Make New Track button, and this will walk you through a very easy form as far as creating up your track. I like to use a simple title that explains what I'm teaching in my class and a short description. That way, if I'm not around, students will be able to find the right one. Then choose the type of track that you have. Uh, can be a resource, worksheet, extended learning demo, the subject area, the grade level, and how long you want to keep this track. You can keep it for up to a year or even longer, but it's also nice to, to clean them out when you're not using them anymore. Passwords are optional if you want to make sure that only your students get into that track. When I start adding the sites for my tracks, I use a simple title and then I'll either type or copy and paste the URL into the text box. I also like to add a simple annotation that explains what site I'm going to so students aren't confused when they're going through the track or I'm demonstrating it to someone else. You can have quite a number of tracks. Uh, normally I only have three or four for most of my students but sometimes I'll have some that are up to 10 or 15. Once you have all your sites listed and all your annotations and titles entered, save your track and in a couple of minutes a new track will be created and saved in your account. From here you can also edit and delete any existing tracks and then once it's completed it will be available for you to go in and view. You can view your track in either frames or in text and once you go into those areas you can also even email it to your friends, students, or coworkers. This has been a quick example of how to use Trackstar.